As you guys can see, these are the rat holes I'm building. I already cut the material down. My tubes, they are two inch tubes with an ID of, I think it is like an inch and I wanna say three quarters or something is the ID of this, of this tubing. Um, I cut them down to 10 inches long. This is the plate that I'm gonna be welding them to. I cut it, it's 15 inches. It's 15 inches this way, approximately. Um, I did an angle cut to give it kind of a fancy lean to it on my council. Um, that's approximately like 35 degrees. I'm going to be doing this slot for you guys in order to show you how you can build this and it capture your real seat so it doesn't flop all around. But once you get the idea, there are three of them are going to be like this, bing, bing, all kind of angled. So it'll be kind of fancy looking. Also, this video is probably going to be kind of loud. I'm going to be using power tools, cut off wheels, uh, Dremel to chamfer edges and stuff. So if you're wearing headphones, you're warned. All right, I am going to take my grinder, take the edges of the tube. There's all the burrs and stuff. I'm going to knock it down so it looks nice and clean and it's not going to cut anybody when they uh, put the rod in the rod holder. All right, on this tube, I'm gonna start on the one end. I'm going to measure down an inch and three quarters. I'm gonna take this old screwdriver bit. I'm going to take it, use it as a center punch, because it's old and it don't work no more. So I'm gonna use it for this. Make your nice little spot for your drill bit to catch so it doesn't wobble all over the place because it's a round tube. I'm gonna take this strong arm clamp, clamp it down to my table so it doesn't roll off and get all crazy and then I'm gonna take this three quarters inch hole saw bit I'm going to drill in here but the tip is the trick is we're working aluminum so you want to go kind of slow get her started put a little bit of cutting oil on her get it going but here's the trick if you get going you're gonna break your drill bit so what I do is I put it backwards put my drill into reverse and I go slow backwards and it creates a nice groove creates a nice groove for my hole saw to start without it breaking my drill bit and go slow because it'll catch and still snap your drill bit off Add a little more cutting fluid as you get down, make it a little easier on your tools, make them last longer. And you're through. Alright, after you get through your tube, I just knock all the shavings off. Try to keep your workspace as clean as possible. Now I'm going to take my combination square. Come into the edge of my tube. Make sure she's nice and 90 on your on the top of your tube. And just do a nice mark like that. And then come to your other side. And this is gonna be the slot that you're gonna cut with your angle grinder with your cutoff wheel. Get it nice and square again. Right there. There's your slot you're gonna cut. All marked out. Now you're gonna put it back on your strong arm clamp. Get it clamped up nice and nice and square for the most part. It's not a spaceship, so they're just rod holders. Get it nice and roll. Right, now I'm going to take my cutoff wheel, my angle grinder, and I'm just going to score it and then cut all the way through.
flat. Take my crescent wrench. Get leisure on myself because it's nice and hot. Don't want to burn my fingers. And just pop. Break all the way, break that chunk the rest of the way out. Reason why I didn't cut all the way through because if you did, you would damage the inside of your cut from your hole saw. Now I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I'm going to deburr the inside of the tube, deburr the inside of the tube, and then very, very, very carefully deburr the inside radius of this slot. And be careful, this thing will hop and jump around. Inside's all cleaned up. All right, I'm gonna round these corners off, make them nice and nice and smooth. Go. All right, I got it all marked up and laid out. It's getting ready to storm here, here in Southwest Florida. Uh, so my camera lady had to leave me for a second. So I got this all clamped up, getting ready to tack it up and weld it out. I want to turn my week to a weekend, get a summer off like I'm teaching. Work so hard to be tweaking. Make another beat, never listen. Yeah, the game change with the seasons. Hit the radio, they call it treason. People go cold and freezing. Doing it for the wrong reasons, yeah. Why my own Mario Odyssey? Tori in the world, I'm more than a prodigy. Alright, here's the rod holders all done up. They're finished. All welded, all stuck together. Not coming apart. They're gonna go right there on the council of my bone right on the side here just like just like that <sighs> sorry i was reaching across my bone there i was going to take the rod holders and just dip them into this can of flex seal and build some like rubberized coating on the ends of the rod holders so it didn't damage my rods but uh the way I welded them on, I welded them too short. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna be able to dip them in properly. So what I'm left with doing is I'm going to tape this all off, the rod holders all off, and then I'm going to paint it with the black flex seal. And I've never done that before, so we will see how it holds. All right, got it all taped off of masking tape. Next thing I'm gonna do is sand it with this sandpaper. This is just some stuff that I laying around. I think it's 40 grit, kind of rough, but work with what you got. And then wipe it all down with acetone after I'm sanding it. And then on to painting. 
All right, there they are, all done. I taped them off and did three coats of the Flex Seal stuff. Uh, definitely wish I would have thought out the position of the rod holders. I would have slid them up further next time, be able to dip them into the can of Flex Seal instead of having to use a paintbrush and paint it on because it just looks like, it looks like dog crap. But these are definitely not gonna be permanent. I will build more and uh, the next set will much be much, much better. We live and we learn. I'm gonna get them bolted up on the council. That's the next part of the video. All right, I'm getting ready to mount my rod holders now. I got my bolts right here. They're 1024 stainless steel. I got my 332nd drill bit and my countersink just to deburr the holes, clean the holes up after I drill them. Uh, the distance between this rattle and this rattler is uh, three inches. So I'm gonna split it inch and a half right down the middle. Same thing on this one, inch and a half right down the middle. And uh, drill two holes, two holes, and then transform them right onto the side of my console there. And punch those holes as well. All right, there they are, all installed on the boat. I uh, drilled the four holes and use a sharp marker to poke through the holes that I drilled to uh, transfer them to the helm to my console and uh, after that pulled the bracket back off and drilled the holes made sure there was nothing important on the inside that I was going to drill into just drilled them through bolted them up with big fender washers so you don't have to worry about it ripping out of the, the fiberglass I did not use any kind of silicone or anything on the back side of this plate I plan on taking it off probably fairly fairly soon and uh cutting all this rubberized stuff off and redoing it then it come out not even remotely as nice as i was hoping it was going to um but yeah there she is looks good thank you very much thank you for watching